Welcome to this discussion about bond valuation and what we're going to talk about is how a company determines or how one would determine what the company receives today for some issuance of bonds. Why are they doing this transaction? They're needing to borrow money and so what happens is they have to establish what the principal, principal amount of the bonds are and in this case it's ten million dollars that's the face amount and so in twenty years they will be paying to the collective group of bondholders this amount of money. The critical thing is is we need to determine what will be the proceeds to the company, what they can then use to invest in their business or whatever the purpose of the bonds are, and will that amount, that, prince, that present value, what they get today, will it be equal to the face amount of the bonds? Will it be less than? Will it be greater than? Well, we're going to determine how, they, how that is determined. So what we have here are 20-year bonds, and as, in, as is the case in most bond issuance, issuances, it is a semi-annual compounding period every six months. So if we have 20-year bonds with semi-annual compounding, that is a total number of periods of 40. So we just take the number of years, multiply by 2, and we get 40. Now, what is the company doing over time? They are paying interest, and remember in the prior lecture, that was really the, the rent on the money that they're getting. And so they're going to pay interest at a coupon interest rate, but we have to ask ourselves, what is the coupon payment every six months? So in this case, in the, in the, the bond indenture, they say the annual rate is 7.6%, but it's going to be the coupon amount will be half of that because it's semi-annual compounding. So we'll take that annual coupon rate, divide by two, and that's how we get to 3.8% coupon payment. Now, the coupon payment is that rate times the face amount of 10 million, and that's how we get $380,000 that is paid every six months by this bond issuer. Now, the market rate in this case, it's 4.2%. How is the market rate determined? Well, I would throw that question at you and say, if you went to borrow money, how is your market rate determined? Your market rate is based on your credit profile, your FICO score. So if you go to buy money, or excuse me, to buy a car and you want to borrow money to do that, your rate will be determined based on your risk profile. In this case, this company has a risk profile and the market is saying, well, based on that, you may only be paying me a 3.8% rate per six months, but I think your rate ought to be 4.2% every six months. In this case, it would be an annual rate of 8.4%. Remember, annual rate divided by semi-annual compounding of two will get you that market, market rate per period of 4.2%. Now, the truisms, and when we talk about bonds, the truths are that the market rate is used for bringing the future payments or amounts to the present value. The coupon rate is only used to determine what the periodic rate is to the bondholders. So remember that. We're only going to use this coupon rate to determine this $380,000 periodic payment. And after that, we really don't care about the coupon rate. Okay? All we use it for is to determine what the coupon payment is, and then we're done with it. Now what we want to focus on is this market rate because the market rate is what we use to bring to present value those future payments, the, annu the future annuity that's happening and that future amount of $10 million. Because remember, in 20 years, the company is going to have to wire transfer $10 million to all of these bondholders. Now, what have they done every six months? They've been making this semi-annual payment of coupon interest. Now, so in bonds, there are two things that have to be determined. The present value of the principal, which is that principal amount of $10 million, we're going to bring it to present value and say, what is it worth today? And then we also have to say, what is the present value of the interest payments of $380,000 every six months? What are they worth today? Now, these two cells are a little busy, but this is the power of Excel because if I add together the present value of the principal, and the present value of the interest, I will find out how much these bonds are issuing for today. 
In other words, the face amount, I can see right now, the face amount is $10 million, but the company is going, only going to receive $9.2 million, not $10 million. They're receiving $9.2 million today, and this is the amount they can invest in their business or whatever it is they're wanting to do with the money. Now, what happens here? I know that because the market rate, based on the risk profile of the company, the market rate was higher than the coupon rate. So what is happening? These bonds are selling at a discount. So we can add this to our truisms and say, if the market rate is greater than the coupon rate, the bonds sell at a discount. In other words, what does that mean? The discount amount is, or the 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 bond, the issuance price of the bonds is less than the face amount. That is what's called selling at a discount. Now, don't pay attention to these formulas right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, what if the coupon rate were, let's say, point uh, oh four five. Let's say if it's four point five percent. Okay. Now, what do I expect to happen when I hit enter? I'm going to expect this amount, the $9.23 million, to change. Watch what happens. It does, and it becomes greater than $10 million. Why is that? There's another truism. If the market rate is less than the coupon rate, the bonds sell at a premium. What does premium mean? It means that the company will get more than the face amount because they are paying a coupon rate that is greater than what their risk profile dictates the market rate to be. So the bondholder is saying, I'm happy about this. Every six months, I'm going to get this wonderful coupon rate because I would have been willing to loan you money at a market rate less than the coupon rate you're paying. So the company is going to receive more than, today, they're going to receive more than what the ultimate payback will be of $10 million of principal in the future. Now, I hope that makes sense because we just illustrated these two very important rules or truisms in bond pricing. And that is if the market rate is greater than the coupon rate, the bonds sell at a discount. If market rate is less than the coupon rate, bonds sell at a premium. Remember, market rate, what was that? This is the bond, this is the rate that the company's risk profile dictates. Okay? Now, algebraically or mathematically, what you're expecting, and let me prove it to you, let's say that the market rate and the coupon rate are identical. So let's change the coupon rate to be exactly what the market rate is. And sure enough, if they're both identical, there is neither a premium or a discount. The bonds are selling at exactly their face amount. Okay, I know this has been very busy, but what I'm going to do going to do right now is enter into a drawing mode and then focus on the present value of the principal and the present value of the interest payments. Now you can see right here, if you want to pause the video, you can see what the Excel formula is and this is going to be the present value of the principal and then I'm using the built-in tools, the present value, the PV function for a present value of an annuity and this syntax right here that's going on and I'm talking, and I used a negative symbol here. You can see that minus PV. And then these are, this is the normal syntax in Excel that has to happen. And then the zero means that this is a, an ordinary annuity. And you can look this up using Excel's help. But this is how we get the present value of an annuity using our Excel tools. And I'll talk about this function in a minute because it's a little, a little different present value of an amount. But I can explain everything that's going on when we get into the drawing mode. I'm going to illustrate a couple of things. One, I want to illustrate what's going on with this present value of the principal. And note that I've changed back to having a coupon rate of 3.8%, a market rate of 4.2%. These are per period. And then obviously, based on our truisms that we spelled out, we know we're going to be selling at a discount. So let's get into this to this mode here where I can draw just a couple of things for you. Uh, the first thing to think about when you're dealing with bonds is to think about a timeline, OK? And so then we've got today, this is today, 
and so we're saying what's the princi what's the principal amount worth today we know based on our calculations it's 1.9 million so but in the future that principal amount is 10 million dollars I'll use mm as my illustration here or my shorthand for 10 million so remember we had we had how many periods going on we have interest payments that are paid every six months and so we had a total of 20 years and remember that was equal to 40 compounding periods so 40 periods okay it's important that you understand that now so what is this 10 million dollars worth today if I bring it back to today at a rate equals remember the rate we're going to use is market rate and it's going to be 4.2 percent per period and the number of periods is 40 right 20 years 40 periods and so whatever that is then will be and I already know from Excel that that is right here it's it's a million nine twenty eight eight one seven well let's talk let's go through longhand how that occurs when you use your present value tables so the present value of an amount equals the future value of that amount times a factor and that factor is one plus I to the negative nth let me put this in here sorry about that I almost put a number and it should be negative n so what is the future value the future value of that principal is ten million dollars now I use my market rate so in this case remember it's 0 0.042 4.2 percent how many periods do I have I have a negative 40 periods so then my present value equals this 10 million times that factor now what I'm going to do is you can take your calculator longhand I don't care how you do it but I know when I use Excel that that factor is going to be what in this case it's going to be point point one nine two eight one seven now what you need to do, I, I want you to prove it for yourself, is I want you to go through and take 1.042 to the negative, negative, negative 40th power to get that factor because what's happening here is then we know the present value of that future amount is going to be 1,928,817. Now we had Excel do it for us here in this, in this cell and let me go ahead and, and put my cursor on that on that cell let me get out of my inking mode I apologize about that excuse me there we go do we have power 1.06 to the negative negative 40 which is what these cells are referencing and we get the the um, 1,928,817 so go ahead and do that math and prove it to yourself and that's how we determine the present value of the principal and then we'll talk we'll talk later about the present value of the interest payments which are present value of an annuity okay you'll notice there's a little bit of a different uh, drawing on your screen right now but I want to apologize about uh, what happened with the um, the prior illustration because I had um, I missed actually missed a digit right here this um, uh, excuse me this this eight is point one two eight eight one nine seven so when you do this longhand and you're you're taking the one point oh four two to the minus forty this is the factor that you'll get and so obviously when you multiply this point one nine two eight eight one seven nine six times the ten million dollars that's where you're going to get into let me get back into inking here that's where this amount right here is is what's giving you the million nine twenty eight eight one seven point nine six okay now so let's go right into this present value of the annuity which is the interest payments and say you know how do we get that well as you're making those payments every six months the formula for present value of an annuity let me just go ahead and write this out this is an ordinary annuity and these factors are what's given in your textbooks but textbook but what you're doing is you're taking that payment amount in this case it's the interest payment and then the factor it's it's really um, seems pretty complicated but it's not too bad actually the factor is 1 minus 1 plus i to the negative nth power divided by i 
so you think wow that's that's really really busy but when you go ahead and put in this the amounts here that we're talking about the payment amount remember that's your interest payment in this case it was three hundred eighty thousand dollars then all you've got to do is say okay how do I get this this factor well if you look at the present value tables they don't always follow a nice I mean they do follow a nice even percentage but if you get some weird percent like in this case 4.2 percent you say what do I do with that well so it'd be one mi one one minus one plus point oh four two remember that was I to the negative fortieth power and we'll then divide that by the interest rate per period and remember we're using a market rate of 0.042. Now, so then you'll end up with, if you want to sit there and do the longhand arithmetic for this factor, let me just go ahead and what you'll find that that factor is, is 19.212171. So if I move down a little bit, let me do that for you here during the video. I then take 380,000 times the 19.271. Let me just do that on my calculator here and tell you what that is. And I get the present value of the, of the interest payments equals 7,302,498. And that's what I got on my calculator doing a longhand so if we go back up and look at it and there is your amount in Excel the seven million three oh two four nine eight so what I all I did is I proved to you that the formula for the present value of an annuity that you see in your present value tables plugging in the number of periods and the interest rate per period you yeah, remember that's the market rate then you get the factor that you multiply by the interest payment to get the present value of that annuity so you can see that done for you in Excel right here so I hope that cleared up uh, using you know which rate we're supposed to use for our discounting and how those formulae work in Excel and what I'll do is I'll provide you this Excel spreadsheet and then you can all you have to do is plug in your interest amounts for the coupon and the market rate and of course change your number of periods and the present value or the principal amount of the bonds as appropriate and you can use this for any bond problem that you're facing in the future so I hope this has helped you and let me get back out of the inking mode here and um, the spreadsheet will be available to my students and you can then use that in your toolkit as you move forward thank you very much